This is Marcy Anderson with the Fishing Report for Southeast Kentucky. The summer heat is kicking in and surface temperatures on area lakes are running in the mid 80s. It's an exciting time to be on Lake Cumberland as anglers have been having a lot of success going after stripers and black bass. Striped bass are being picked up by pulling live bait on planer boards in 25 to 50 feet of water. Soft plastics have been key for black bass. Target main lake points for smallmouth and try fishing around cover in the smaller creeks for largemouth and spotted bass. It's also a good time to fish for channel catfish. Mid-lake areas are generally productive using crawler rigged bottom bouncers on main lake flats in 25 to 30 feet of water. The Cumberland tailwater can help you beat the heat and also get you an opportunity to land some nice trout as well as walleye and striped bass. Recent sampling around the rock house area shows good overall numbers of rainbow trout as well as good numbers of fish in the 15 to 20 inch range. Flows have been fairly consistent as of late and have allowed for good wade fishing and float trips. It's also a good time to float and fish some of the area's streams and rivers. The Rock Castle River, the South Fork of the Kentucky, as well as Buck Creek and Pulaski County offer some good float trips and allow you to fish for a variety of species including black bass, sunfish, and catfish. Rebel crawdads and rooster tails are some good options to try. So as always, good luck and good fishing. Hi, this is Eric Cummins with your Southwest Kentucky Fishing Report. Barren River Lake Thermocline is around 14 foot Bass have been best early and late with top waters, jigs, or soft plastics. Out on the main lake and secondary points, hybrids have been best early and late with swim baits or trolling thermocline depths. Crappie likewise are best early and late or at night under lights with minnows and jigs. Catfish have been fair on jugs with live or cut bait. Green River Lake thermocline depth is around 17 foot. Bass bite has been best early and later at night with top waters and soft plastics on main lake points, rock slides, or deeper brush piles. Muskie have been fair in the backs of creeks with cooler inflow or out on the main lake trolling the thermocline. Exciting catches have been reported fishing under floating lights for white bass and crappie with minnows, spoons, or jigs. Also be looking for July trout stockings this coming week on Roundstone, Trammel, Sulphur Springs, and Jennings Creeks, and also at Nolan Tailwater. These are good opportunities to beat the heat, enjoy some cooler temperatures and water, and catch some fish. As always, good luck and good fishing, and be sure your life jacket's got your back. This is Jeremy Shifflett with a fishing update from the Northwest District. Rough River Lake remains about six feet above Summer Pool. Surface temps are in the mid to upper 80s. The thermocline varies slightly throughout the lake, but oxygen is generally falling out around 12 to 14 feet, except for the upper river near Peter Cave and above. Crappie fishing has slowed down compared to what it has been earlier this year. Look for fish on brush 10 to 15 feet deep, depending upon location. These fish aren't super active, so downsize your presentation. Micro jigs tipped with a crappie nibble or small minnow will get you a few more bites. You can also troll some shallow running crankbaits. Hybrid striped bass have been jumping early and late with the first and last hour and a half of daylight being the most productive for active fish. Look for jumps around the creek mouths, the big island at Laurel Branch, and the straight stretch headed up lake from the state park. You can also catch hybrids on live shad or bluegill, night crawlers, or chicken livers about 10 feet deep on shallow points in the creek mouths or on sandy shorelines. 4-inch swim baits, rattle traps, silver and gold spoons, cast the jumps, cast across main lake points, or trolled will work well also. Black bass have been most active early and late in the day as well, but I don't have a whole lot more information on that. Knoll End is at Summer Pool, pretty clear and in the low to mid 80s. Bass fishing is still pretty good. They have been hitting top water such as pop bars, spooks, and buzz baits. Night fishing has been good also. Try black spinner baits, jigs, and worms fished off steep banks in the 10 to 15 feet deep range. During the day, try deep crankbaits, jigs, and Carolina rigs off main lake points. Crappie are hanging about 15 feet deep on brush. Good numbers are being caught, but mostly smaller fish. Tube jigs in pearl and chartreuse red have been good. White bass fishing has been exciting lately. There have been lots of jumps early and late in the day at the creek mouths and main lake just downstream of Dog Creek. White inline spinners have been the ticket. Also, a pop bar thrown into the jumps has been getting hit hard. Walleye fishing has been really slow lately with a few fish being picked up in the upper river and lower lake bouncing nightcrawler rigs off rocky main lake points. On Malone, crappie are moving a lot in open water following schools of shad and can be caught pulling crankbaits. 
Crappie Guru Officer Brad Bowles suggests shallow running crankbaits such as a Bandit 100, 200, or Flicker Shad to pick up some of those moving crappie. Big Bass seem to be spending a good deal of their time offshore as well. Medium running crankbaits or Alabama rigs with 3 to 4 inch pearl or white swim baits may hook up. Catfish are still biting well in the state lakes, especially in the evening and after dark. Try chicken liver, strawberry chicken, raw shrimp, or stink bait. If fishing after dark, using a bell or glow stick for a strike indicator is very useful. Please take your trash with you and do not burn plastic on our fishing access sites. Trout will be stocked in Otter Creek on Fort Knox and Nolin Tailwater on the 21st. While in a boat, wear your life jacket and be aware of others around you as recreational traffic is heavy this time of year. Good luck!